first started with Jerry, it was Jerry, Jerry Dammers, the keyboard player and the leader of the specials. I had, it was just him and me to start with. But then I had the, the, um, the record, the 45, a, f a friend of my father had that 45. So I grew up with all those sort of stuff. So, you know, I took the, the, that one record to Jerry. Limbo came around my house with message to you, Rudy, and we both kind of, yeah, that's one that we're going to have to cover, you know. We learned the song and we thought, this is great for the time, because the time was like, there was like a few sort of um, football, you know, violence, you know? And we just like, this is a perfect song to tell those kids, stop you messing about, otherwise you're just gonna end up in jail. You know, a message to you, rude boy. At the time, it just, both of us just thought it was good. And plus it was, um, you know, a highly moralistic tale for the young people, you know. <laughs> Song. We needed the brass. We did obviously we did our history search and see who played on this song. You know, we love the brass so sound of it, and we thought, wow, oh, let's find you know, do a research. We find it was Rico. You know, Rico played on the original as well, although the solo is different. The solo's um, uh, oh. hey, <laughs> How you doing? all right. Yeah. <laughs> It's Lee. It's Lee from Madness. All right, Lee. Nice to see you, man. <laughs> Sexy. Go, on, go, on, go. On. At first, you, 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 you know, you're meeting a legend. You think, oh my God, oh my God, what am I going to say to him? How am I going to approach him? You know. But he was such a cool guy. He just welcomed me with open arms and everything. And I took him to the studio and we laid the track down. He become the, 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 the you know, the one of the most important part of this special's rhythm section. Was a message to you one of your greatest hits? You played on? Yes. Myself and the Cotel. Where was this? Terry Hall in America. Specials discover America. America discovers the specials. They think the original version is the specials version. No, no, no. no. Dan the Livingstone. My friend, yeah. He, he lives in Jamaica now. A message to you, Rudy. Message to you. What were rude boys? What, what did they do? Rude boys used to do all manner of uh, illicit things, you know, like robbery and, you know, mugging and, you know what I mean, and guns and, you know what I mean. And what did Dandy Livingston want to say with his song? Well, I think if I try to show them, say, better them look on life on a brighter side, you know. Than, than going to those things, you know. If I don't think so, in the long run, it's going to be good for them. It's been a, a wonderful song, and even up till today, it's given the same message. It's a thing that, you know, certain songs get hold and you, you know, you put them on the, on the, in the cupboard and you don't hear them again, you know? This song can never get old, because there's always violence happening every day, and it's, and it's saying a positive message to everyone. Stop you messing around. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. yeah, we know. Yeah, we play, we play yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 Stop your messing around. Yeah. Better think of your future. 